danielscranton.com. Welcome to the reading, How to Love Yourself, the 9D Arcturian Council, channeled by Daniel Scranton. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have so much respect and admiration for all of you there on earth, but we also have so much love and we feel that love for you in every moment of our existence. We have trained ourselves to be heart-centered, to be focused on how we feel, and to be loving to ourselves as well as to others. Now, we are non-physical beings, but we once did have bodies and we had hearts. And we began the training when we still had hearts, but the focus is the same. You want to focus on the center in order to access the love that you truly are. You want to find someone or something to remind you of that love and then take your attention off of them or it so that you become more interested in the feeling of love inside of you. Now, we know that many of you are aware of the importance of self-love, but we also know that most of you do not understand how that can be attained. In other words, if you haven't done anything or been anything worthy of that love, how could you possibly give it to yourself? You want to start by understanding whether you have been loving to yourself or not. And that starts by paying attention to your self-talk, your thoughts, your words, and even your behaviors. If you make a mistake while doing something, how hard are you on yourself? If you are constantly doing things that you don't want to do, are you really honoring yourself and being loving to yourself? Can you notice what types of thoughts you think about yourself and how they feel? You will feel the hollow feeling somewhere in one of your chakras when you are not being loving with yourself because you will be out of alignment with your true self, which is love, which is source, and which of course loves you. So as you notice whether or not you are being loving to yourself, you then are faced with a decision. You have to ask yourself if you want to continue to feel this way or whether you would prefer to self-correct your course. You can always replace a thought that does not feel good about you with one that does. You can always focus on something about yourself that you at least find acceptable and you can take the microscope off of yourself for a while and go and do the thing that you love to do. Go and be with the people you love to be with or go and pet the animal that you know loves you unconditionally. Once your heart is open to anything or anyone, it is also open to you. So you can take that lens and turn it on yourself once you have gotten the ball rolling by activating the love within you through focus, through doing what you love to do or being with the people you love to be with. You can also pay attention to how you look at others and whether you are being loving with them. If you are being harsh and critical with someone else, then chances are you are going to turn that lens back on yourself at some point and you are going to be just as harsh and just as critical with yourself. Therefore, the best way to engage in more self-love is to be love. 
Ask yourself in every morning when you wake up what you want to be today. And on those days when you choose love, intend to include yourself. And that will make all the difference. If there is no one in your life right now who is showering you with love, attention, and praise, then remember that source loves you. Remember that you are love. And remember that you can find that love within yourself. Even if you have never done anything noteworthy, even if you feel like you haven't become the person you've wanted to become in this life. You are who you are, and you have come this far to be awake enough to receive this message. And you can love yourself right where you are, no matter where that is. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. DanielScranton.com